Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Bad news. What? Uh, bad news. The Owl House is canceled. And I was surprised. It was, I mean, I, I thought it was already canceled uh, <laughs> before this. Yeah, it was it was canceled apparently over the summer. We got out that the Owl House okay, was yeah, that's what I thought. canceled. And uh, now there's some commentary from the showrunner that there's still like six hours uh, of entertainment left to come. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting because, you know, they made such a big deal about this show and they're canceling it. And it does seem like Disney, you know, objectively is not spending the money on television animation that they were before. Like okay, they, I haven't really been paying attention, yeah, but yeah. They, like look at a lot of stuff coming to Disney Plus. It's it's live action. That's true. Of live action stuff. Probably cheaper. So we're gonna talk about that in the uh, fans being very, very unhappy. Oh, imagine that. Uh, Owl, Owl House, House fans being unhappy. You Owl don't House say. Fans are very unhappy. Never happens. And uh, we're also gonna talk about how, hey, shows can come back from the dead. Young Justice is mm -hmm. coming back for a season four. Uh, and they had season three several years after it was canceled. You know, the, the good thing, I guess, about uh, animation is that the characters don't age unless you right. draw them older. So, so, you know, it can always come back. They can always come back, guys. You know, honest, honest, it could come back. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we're over 234,000 subs. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Um, yeah, so to say that uh, Owl House fans are uh, passionate, it's okay. sort of an understatement. So, like, we've talked about Owl House before a couple times. Um, and the, we watched the Owl House, and we said it was good. Yeah. And we said it was pretty good, and we said, and we liked it. Now, what, what happened was, like all the other shows of its type, it decided to go with the stupid prom trope. Yes. And I was like, oh, my God, they're doing prom. What? Why? Of course they are. Because I think these shows, these showrunners think these shows are their own personal, like, therapy sessions or something. Yeah, yeah. Prom and shipping. That's what we call that. We call that the toxic shippers. And it's, it's pretty much they move from one cartoon show to another. Uh, and they're really, like, they're, they have entirely too much free time. They do. And it's like uh, we get, we get these people time. that write us these, like, insane things, like... I don't even check messages. If you write me and I don't answer you, that's probably why. Because I got tired of these people, like these crazies, just writing me letters, like these, these manifestos about how I hate you know, minority groups because I think prom's an overused trope. Yeah. I'm I mean, like, yeah, that, that's that's what I said. Uh, you yeah, know, we talked a little bit about the shipping culture and all that, and it wasn't throwing uh, uh, shade at Lou's being bisexual or anything like that. It was just no. like, here we go with the shipping again. Shipping is ruining the show. Why are we... You know, attaching all these uh, romantic aspects to characters that are supposed to be way underage. Because it's just the general, people that you know? are watching them are like yeah. 16, 25-year-olds, you know. Anyway, so, but, I mean, on the whole, we actually said the show was of, of sufficient quality. And mm -hmm. I couldn't, couldn't really complain uh, too much because it was a new thing. Right, and we said that. Um, um, well, except for, you know, uh, she's totally Ryoko. Yeah, that's Kenji. Totally, but other than there's that, no question there. Uh, other than that, you know, but, but yeah, there it is. So for it being incredibly popular, Disney pulled the plug after about a year and a half. Yeah, which I thought was weird because it, it was weird popular. And it, it, and it was, and it did really well. So I don't, I don't understand that either. Unless maybe, unless perhaps we thought it was doing well and, and Twitter and that group of people that ones that kept trying to say she was doing fantastic, but we hear on, um, from the backside that that it wasn't doing that. That great yeah um if maybe that was another case of we're trying to make it look because we're going to talk about all the time to make it look like it's more popular than it is but when they went to the actual numbers it wasn't performing who knows just because something's popular on twitter doesn't mean it's actually popular general public plus these shows you have to realize even if the show gets a lot of watch time it, it doesn't mean that it's popular enough to justify the cost because these shows are incredibly expensive uh for all the talk of people saying hey you know uh, the animation's cheap and yada, yada, yada on these shows. Even cheap animation on a show like this could run you 500000 to a $1 million an episode. And Disney has pulled other projects that were doing fairly well yeah. making money just because they weren't making enough money or they wanted to go in a different direction. So Disney doing something like this is not surprising at all. Yeah, um, so here we go. Uh, a couple months ago from Decider, and we'll, we'll talk about where it's at right now, but the Owl House's creator may have announced the show was ending, but that's not going to stop fans from campaigning. Of course not. They're going to send Maybe threats. they'll stop with she now and they'll go with Owl House. <laughs> In a recent Twitch stream, uh, Dana Terra said it's too late for an extended season three. She added that there may be more content coming 
in the universe of Luz and Ida. Uh, I'll answer this one because a lot of people ask. The letters, the support, the trending, does it help it get more content? Yes, the more attention we get, the higher chance we, we get of getting more content and the ability to do more stuff at the studio. Uh, but Terrace put the kibosh on an extended season three, unfortunately saying it's been a long battle with Disney to try and get more episodes. That's been set in stone. We've been boarding. It's unfortunate. Uh, that's a battle I've been raging for the past year before I was even allowed to say anything about it. So basically, right after the show you know, uh, dropped, and it was, what, the beginning of 2020? Mm -hmm. it, was, it was pretty much canceled, like, right out of the gate, which is weird. I mean, because she couldn't say anything for, like, a year. Um, well, I think it was longer than that, but I mean, yeah, it was six around, months it in, they're like, yeah, yeah we're not it doing was, it. They had more time than this right out of the gate. Uh, that ship is sailed. So there is hope for a future for Owl House, though, in a form of new content akin to the original saga. Fans have to keep showing their support. Or Disney could be like, please stop harassing us. Mm -hmm. Please, please stop writing us, stop harassing us. Uh, spin offs, shorts, comics, all that stuff can happen. Uh, comics, I think, would be very likely because it's much, much cheaper. Mm -hmm. If you like the show, watch it on Disney Plus. That's the best way you can support it. Uh, hearing the news, Al House audiences took to social media to mourn the loss of the series while still supporting her future and uh, Terrace's uh, future endeavors. One Twitter user shared that when shows like this get canceled or shortened, it really makes you question most animation executives. See, for me, I I always question animation executives when they keep rebooting shows that already existed, like Shira. Yeah. Well, I, I think in the case of Shira, they already had the budget allocated for that. Right. You know. I'm just saying, I mean, like, you're supposed to question executives now when they, they stop the show you like. But then it's not okay for people like me to question executives when they keep repurposing shows I liked. Yeah, well, they canceled uh, Infinity Train, too. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it does seem to be a, a trend. I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. What I think is going on when they're greenlighting these shows is they're, they're basically like, yeah, we're not going to do kids' shows or we're not going to use the kids' show money to bankroll Tumblr comics anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, and, again, I'm not using that in a disparaging way, but I think they're like, yeah, these shows, the audiences wind up being like 20-somethings and not actual kids and uh, we'd rather focus on making more, like, little kid content. Well, that, and I think the behavior. Yeah. I, I honestly, I'm not going to lie. I think the behavior out of some of these fans is enough to turn these people, is enough to turn these executives off. They're like, they get harassed. They get constantly, you know, bombarded. And they're like, this is ridiculous. Even, even the people they like, even the people working on the shows get death threats from cartoon stands. Mm -hmm. Like this, this is going back. Oh, they're to the worst. I, I'm, I stand by that. Yeah, cartoon stands are the worst. Steven Universe, Voltron, um, Shira, you know, Shira, Shiri's. <laughs> uh, you know, and and that is an audience that 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 uh, these cartoons that are more aimed at young adults, I think, than actual children, tend to cultivate. And yeah, they might be looking at this like, is it really worth the hassle? Because we're not selling toys because little little kids aren't watching mm -hmm. it, so they're not buying dolls or anything like that. Uh, is it really worth dumping five hundred thousand dollars into every episode of this just to get death threats in return? And, and Disney, and... I'm not going to lie to you, Disney's looking at pretty much content to see how they can they can monetize it. Yeah, like they're spending their time on like the the you know the Lego Star Wars Hall or Halloween special because they're going to probably put you know stuff out toys. They're looking at things like oh they're made, you know and they're going to push Galaxy's Edge in some way on that. Yeah. They're looking at you know the Muppets. Haunted Mansion special, and these are of course all like you know ones that are a lot cheaper to do, and that one is they're gonna push the Muppets like crazy. They are already selling Muppet eclairs at the parks. They want to be able to have some kind of tie into this in some way, I think, um, to make money back because Disney's all about money right now. Disney's always been all about money. I know money. they're just being really overt about it. But now. they they lost a year, and Bob Chapek is is the most uh, penny pension. CEO I think mm -hmm. they've ever had. So I, you know, they're gonna make different decisions. And that's it too. You know, the show was greenlit on Iger's watch, and now we're in the Chapek era and things are different. Oh, even when they did Gravity Falls, they did a lot more with it. There was merch, there was, yeah. you know, books, there was all kinds of things, and they still produce some stuff that's tied into it. Um, and they won't bring it back. So, you know, yeah. I mean, I don't I don't want to tell you. I I mean it was a good show. It sucks, it was its own thing. I, I appreciated that. Completely. I think the problem things ever used still. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's the, the problem we have with these shows is not even the show itself. It's, they don't it's make the, the same damn thing anymore. 
it's it's the shipping and the shipper culture and the whole. It's the culture around toxic, it, and I honestly you know. think that this is part of the reason why these pl- these places are pulling away from doing these shows. And, you, and these people that are out there screaming about it probably did it to themselves. Yo, know, I gotta wonder because they did this with uh, Infinity Train too, and Infinity Train objectively was a good show. But it was the same kind. It, it attracted the same audience of teenagers and young adults, and I, I do have to wonder. I mean, they're they're just using the whole, hey, it's because you know we want to chase a different audience for the merchandise. They're using that angle, and reality is, is I, I you might be right. There might be a component of it of like, hey, we're really really tired of getting death threats over here at the studio. Because I know what kind of shit we get. Yeah. I can only imagine what kind of crap they get. And like, I'm sure they're going to get double. You want to win them over? If you're if you're making threats and writing them shitty things like people write me, it's not going to work. No, they're going to be like, it's not worth it. It's it's totally not worth it. Like, this is not the audience we're looking for. They don't buy things. They're not going to buy action figures or dolls of these characters. Uh, they're just going to send us death threats and and you know, tag us all the time on Twitter and complain about shit. It's not worth it. No. And I think that's why Cartoon Network was pivoting away from that kind of stuff too. They're like, we're not doing this young adult content anymore. It's we're either doing kids stuff or we're doing anime and that's mm-hmm. that's it. And I think know? the behavior is part of it. I mean, it could be wrong, but judging by the behavior we get, I can only imagine what they get. Yeah. So uh, Dan Tara said that there are, let's see, uh, three specials in season three. And um, six hours of Owl House left, which is weird to think about. And I'm sure she's probably going to move on to something else. Uh, people are going to be very mad. And, yeah, it's it's just all these kinds of shows. They're canceling them. Mm-hmm. Um, they are. And, and you know, I, I never really stopped to think about it, but I think you might be right. I think it might – part of the reason is, you know, it's financial, obviously, but then part of it is, you know, the hassle of, of dealing if with it. If it was people. doing well and they were making all kinds of money and they thought it was really marketable and they could they could really bank it, I do not believe for one minute Disney would cancel it. Yeah. No, I agree. Any of these shows. They would be agree. like, well, this is mo- this is marketable. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, I, I, I agree. There's definitely something else going on. And I think they're just like, yeah, you know, uh, expensive Tumblr cartoons don't bring in the revenue. Now, Young Justice shows that, yeah, they can bring stuff back. Now, here's the difference, though. Young Justice, you can action figure this shit. Mm-hmm. You know, you can action figure this shit. And they're probably looking at that like, yeah, we're going to make action figures of, you know, I, I mean, Batman figures well, always. It depends on, on the channel, too, and, and who's doing it, like what their goals are. Disney's yeah. goals are money. Yeah. So. Uh, now, this is uh, HBO Max are going to be doing a season four. Uh, I believe it's going to be on HBO Max. Uh, Greg Wiseman, who is the, I believe, showrunner. Uh, put the tweet out there, 18 episodes in the can. 18 episodes. Six more in post-production. Last two still being animated. This is Young Justice Phantom. So they can bring animated series back uh, from the dead. Yeah, HBO Max. And, you know, they're trying to ramp up their their uh, DC content. Now, there, HBO so. Max so keeps ramping up animation in DC because they're probably trying to compete with Disney and Marvel. Now, what's interesting, though, because, yeah, and again, they always sell toys. Batman, you could have no Batman media and... You know, kids would still buy Batman action figures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, the action, a lot of times action figures aren't tied to any of the current yeah. Batman media, CW. <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, but it's interesting that they canceled Infinity Train. They're like, we don't want the, you know, basically that audience, but we're going to greenlight more Young Justice. Mm-hmm. And I think it does come down to the money. And they're like, yeah, the, we know we're going to sell toys. We well, know they we're also probably sell get half the shit from these people as they will from, you know. It's a different audience. But just to show you, these these series can come back years later if the money's there. I think what's going to have to happen for shows like, you know, the Owl Houses are going to have to go um, the way of uh, Vivzy Pop, you know, with uh, independent animation. You're going to have to kind of crowdfund, I think. Mm-hmm. Which they probably can't. You probably could. I mean, I guess I guess that's my thing. Like, if you want to see more of these kinds of shows, like, you know, they could put out a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo campaign or something and be like, hey, we want to do another season of a show. We just need, like, yeah, $12 million. And if, that, got you know, million and if it worked, then they can take it to yeah. studios and be like, hey, yeah. there's still demand for this and bring it back. Yeah. So there's yeah. always that option, too. Yeah, but I think I think we're gonna see a, a change in animation in, in that regard. I agree. Uh, for sure. So anyway, we're gonna wrap this one up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.